Hello everyone, my name is Nick and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Kerbal Space Program is a space simulator, aerospace, like rocket building kind of game. Pretty sure you've probably heard of it by now, it's quite old. Kerbal Space Program 2 is coming out very soon, uh, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to play the original Kerbal Space Program. But a little fun fact about me, I'm actually a mechanical engineer, uh, and in about six months I will be the proud owner of a brand new baby mechanical engineering degree. Uh, I'm about to graduate. So today we're going to do the first installment in a series where a mechanical engineer who spent four years and much hard work on a mechanical engineering degree plays this game about going to space and applying those mechanical engineering skills. All it's going to end up being is a demonstration of how useless a degree actually is. But anyway, I've never played this game before. I know nothing about it. So I'm, I'm going in blind. And we are going to play the career mode. There's no save, so start new. Career, save name, disaster. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, let's go, let's get into it. Yeah, so as I was saying, I, I am supposed to be a mechanical engineer. I'll actually be working for an aerospace firm next year, maybe, if that if that works out, but uh, okay, uh, we're in. So this is our space center. This guy's name is Gene, and we get a tutorial. You guys know how much I love tutorials. Feel free to move around, hold the right mouse button to move or use the arrow keys. Okay, I can kind of like pan, okay, whatever, gotcha. So we got a vehicle assembly building, space plane hangar, astronaut complex, and R&D tracking station, mission control, okay, whatever. I wanna build a rocket, so I'm gonna click on the building, okay. Build spacecraft, roll them out to the launch pad. On your left, you'll find components to construct the spacecraft, select the part, start ship. Okay, we need a command pod, hello? Can I, ah, nice, nice, okay. Spaceship. <laughs> Very creative name. Okay, I don't have any stuff. Yeah, I don't have any stuff unlocked yet, so I'm assuming I have to do like, like contracts? So how do I begin, I guess? I don't know. Maybe I've got to build a rocket? Oh, I do have an engine. Okay, so I'll just, nice. I'll just put an engine, right. what is this? Let's see. Let me put my knowledge to use, okay. It's a solid fuel booster found flying on the side of the road. That is exactly what you want when you do rocket science. Trash bin full of boom, it's solid fuel. There's a bunch of fancy numbers. None of that means anything right now. Let's just launch it. Let's just launch our command pod strapped to a solid fuel booster. <laughs> okay, we can see Jebediah. We got him in the bottom right corner here. There's, again, a bunch of fancy buttons and readouts. I'm gonna ignore all of that. And I believe it is spacebar. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've got our first lift off. It only took me like five minutes. Okay, we're out of fuel. It's okay. Uh, I guess <laughs> I guess I didn't really like add stages or anything. So, oh, do I have a parachute? Oh no. Oh no. Probably should have added a parachute. Well, let's speed things up because I'm pretty sure that this is going to end in disaster. Oh, we're kind of, we made it kind of high. Wow. We're not in space, but Jebediah is having the time of his life down there. Okay, okay, we're falling. Um, okay, so one time speed. Do I, okay, this could be bad. I should probably have looked at the tutorial. Ooh, okay. I have some control, very minor control. That doesn't help. Jebediah, it's not looking good, buddy. I can't figure out how to pull your parachute. Mayday! Uh, Mayday! We're oh going no. down! Mm. Okay, well then. Okay, well we've learned. He needs a parachute and a separator, but I don't have either of those, do I? Coupling, aerodynamic, ooh, fins. Nice. I can give you a nice fin. I can give you a fin. Yeah, sure. One crooked fin. <laughs> no, I'm gonna trash that, actually. <laughs> Science, mystery goo containment unit. Let's put it on the side of the crew capsule. Oh, personal parachute, okay, okay. You need a personal parachute. Utility, ah, there it is, guys, the parachute. Okay, okay, let's try this, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Bear with me as I figure this out. I've never played the game before, so I really have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so I've created a bad thing 
because I put that goo container on the side. I create. I put the goo container on the side of the rocket. You could see it right here, which means that the drag was not symmetrical, which is why we went sideways. Is it gonna be mad if I pull the parachute? Yeah. Okay. So, so we're slowing down. That's good. And the parachute can just do whatever it wants. Okay. All right. Now the question is, will he survive this time? And if so, what do I gain? Okay. So we're we're chilling. We're good. He's fine. He's slowly headed down to the surface. Okay. Great. I don't know if being in the ocean is gonna be a problem. I hope not. Touchdown. Okay, now what? <laughs> oh, okay. So the science I did allowed me to... Okay, I have new stuff now. We're getting into this, guys. We're getting into it. We're going to build a new spaceship. Call it Spaceship 2. SS2. We now have a fuel tank, which you, you use fuel tanks only for liquid fuel boosters. Usually with solid fuel boosters, they're like... The tank is incorporated, so... Let's put, let's put two, two tanks and a liquid fuel engine. And I want a separator too. Let's add our science things. But this time I will learn from my mistake and I will do symmetry. So hopefully, <laughs> I know there's a way to turn symmetry mode on actually. Also, we're gonna put the parachute in a different stage than the rocket because that would be bad. Yeah, okay, yeah, it looks good to me. Let's give it a try, let's give it a try. So I guess like the progression of the career is you just collect science and use it to get more parts to do cooler things. All right, Valentina, let's go. Oh wait, do I have to like... Nope. Wait, what? Did I do something wrong? I guess I, maybe I should look at the controls. I think I did something wrong. Throttle, okay, how do I increase throttle? Oh, T is to turn on the SAS, okay. Increasing throttle. Nope. Okay, guys. So I actually looked at the controls. So let's try that again. I have to increase the throttle in order for it to work. Go figure. Okay, so we're going to run out of fuel pretty quickly. And we got a lot of drag on those little science canisters. But it looks fine. I can't separate. I can't separate that yet because... We don't have the separator, but I believe we are collecting science. I'm such a dummy. I deployed the parachute already. So we're just going to ascend for the foreseeable future. Okay, we're falling. We're falling. Good. So I believe that let us collect science, which we will then use to go back to Earth and do more things. I believe I can fly. I be <laughs> okay, or maybe not. Catastrophic failure, revert to vehicle assembly. So it was probably too heavy, if I had to guess. I would say it was probably too heavy. So let's get rid of all this. Let's just, yeah, let's just delete, yeah. We'll stick with the, the solid flea booster, but we'll just do science on each side. So science, they're definitely not symmetrical, but it's fine, it's fine. So the reason that solid fuel boosters require you to mess with the throttle, or liquid fuel require you to mess with the throttle, is because, Whee! oh boy. Oh, oh my God, okay. <laughs> oh wait, I just wanna see what happens here. Yeah, so solid fuel, once you start the reaction, the booster isn't really controllable. It just kind of, it just goes, and you have no real, like, control over what happens with it. But with liquid fuel boosters, it's like you can modulate how much of each propellant type is coming into the chamber at any given time, which means that you can kind of, you kind of have like a throttle input, whereas with solid fuel, it's just like, you light it and it goes, you know? 14,200, not too bad. Let's pull the parachute now. Hello, parachute, parachute. Okay, <clears throat> all right, let's try that again. Go time. Yes, turn this ass on. SAS is just like automatic, like don't tip over machine, <laughs> to put it simply. Come on, Valentina, we're bringing you home. We're falling, falling. We'll pull the parachute. It better work this time. <laughs> Okay, parachute, okay. Ah, uh, are we gonna hit the ground too fast? 200 meters per second is way too, okay, okay. We slowed down. 
thank goodness. Now, I swear, if this thing blows up again, we're going to have a problem. Yay, okay. Awesome. Now, I don't actually know how to, like, successfully do or finish the flight, so I guess we go back to Space Center and see if we can unlock something new. I don't even know if I'm doing this correct. Okay, so I took some time, I did a little bit of research, and I've come back again to get a little more science, to get us advanced a little bit here. I've also just noticed that there we have this down here, this number. I don't think it means money, but I could be wrong about that. So I guess you can do EVAs from the launch pad. So like we have just the capsule and then all of this. In fact, we'll even get rid of the parachute for now. I'm probably gonna regret that later when I forget to put it back on. But then we hit launch and we'll be on the launch pad, but we can do science from the launch pad so we can observe the mystery goo it's not doing anything so that gives us three science and then i'm not sure if we can do it twice yeah cool so we do that and then we can take bill here and we can I think we can get him to get out transfer crew eva yeah bill f climb out okay oh he fell <laughs> okay we can sprint what can we do bill lower visor remove helmet let's go off the launch pad and investigate a little more i guess i guess now we could do another eva oh there's already one i love the face cam in the bottom right bill's face cam he's just like committed to running around all right buddy you got to get back in there climb on it okay he just fell over can we like come on come on buddy <laughs> oh board board okay okay so if the spacecrafts return to Kerbin, i can recover them from the tracking station screen i can recover that vessel which had five science in it okay great okay okay cool cool and the one that just launched or i didn't even launch it, it's just command pod i can also recover and that gave us some science. Uh, and I cannot recover the one in the ocean because it's in the middle of the ocean, I guess. But great, that gives us some basic science, which we can use if we go to the R&D facility. I'm getting the hang of it, don't worry. To unlock Engineering 101. I remember taking that course. So that gives us a decoupler, a thermometer, and something to transmit data. And then we have 10 science left over, which we can't afford anything. So it's rocketry, stability, or survivability. Survivability will certainly be the last one I pick. Uh, so let's go back to the vehicle assembly building. Let's put our command pod in. And the decoupler, where's the decoupler? Okay, so we're gonna put this here so that we can decouple and then we can get a huge liquid engine. So we need fuel tanks. We'll put, we'll start with three. We'll just do a measly three. That's not that much. Actually, four. Actually, five. Well, five might be too many. There's a, uh, one point where the fuel on board will weigh us down so much that it's not efficient anymore. So we'll put our thing there, and then we need our science things. A thermometer. We'll put our thermometer right there, and then our science modules on either side. And I will not forget to add the parachute this time. I shall not leave my poor pilot without his parachute. All right, all right, great. So this is looking pretty good. Let's take it to the launch pad. We're gonna try to recover this one too. So we're gonna do some science and then we're gonna try to recover it. Okay, so I gotta throttle up, throttle all the way up. And now let's adjust our stages. So we have the decouple and then the parachute is last. Okay, Valentina, let's give it a go. Oh, I forgot to turn on SAS, oh boy. That is gonna be a problem. Okay, we've got a little arc going here. So our previous highest flight took place at, I'm actually gonna turn this booster off for a little bit or down to get us, cause we're kind of coasting. We're not losing too much speed right now. So let's see if we can get up into orbit here. Oh yeah, okay, all right. Once the air gets thinner, it becomes much easier for the rocket to just continue on its course because it's it's encountering less air resistance. So let's do a final big burn. Okay, we're good. So decouple. Goodbye, booster. Goodbye. <laughs> They're gonna drop that right on our own space center. This is a new high altitude for us. Let's have a look at the mysterious goo. See what it's doing. It's very cold. That is That is what space does to things generally. I wonder if that is going to smash into the ground or not. We are still accelerating upward pretty quickly. Can I like switch to it? I actually do not target that. <laughs> How you doing, Valentina? How you doing? Okay, this is what Valentina sees. 
lots of lots of stuff, lots of fancy buttons and switches. None of which look like the kind that I should be pressing. Okay, but we're doing we're doing good. We're at fifty thousand meters, so we've actually. I believe have entered space at this point. Oh, we're falling. Or no, we're not falling. But we're not rising as quickly as we used to be. Let's observe the other mystery goo. It's very cold. <laughs> I am going to time warp us forward. Wait for us to get closer. So I didn't quite... To get into orbit, you basically just... You go really high and then you pitch east right as you're exiting the atmosphere. And then that allows you to get to like a sideways trajectory going. And then, try not to smash into the ground here. And then once you do that, you kind of enter that orbit around the Earth. You have to hit the right the right height and the right like lateral velocity to make it happen. Let's pull the parachute. Please do not break. <laughs> but I did not get high enough and I did not get enough lateral velocity going to make that happen. But it's fine because I think we're going to be able to recover this craft, and hopefully it's going to have a lot of science in it. And I think that with a with a better design, we could definitely get to orbit. Okay, let's see. He's definitely, five and a half meters per second is definitely slow enough. This is a super light craft, too, because the other one we landed had the booster still on it as well. Okay, awesome. So now if we go to the tracking station, we can see, I guess that is, oh, I didn't even name this one. Okay, it landed right there, and we can recover it, and it has a bunch of science in it. And we got funds. So, actually, I do have a money in the game. I haven't been paying any attention to that so far. Okay, so let's go back to our facility. Well, that was a good introductory, like, first basics episode. Like I said, I've never played this game, so, like, bear with me while I learn the mechanics and stuff. I can already see the appeal of it, like unlocking new tech, build bigger rockets to go further into space, unlock new tech to build bigger rockets to go even further into space. I'm really enjoying it, and even though the only mechanics we've seen so far are like thrust and drag, it seems like a pretty accurate representation of real rocketry. <laughs> I mean, you know, don't attack me for saying that, but who knows? Maybe this is how you become a rocket scientist. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see the rest of this series, if you want to get involved, be sure to leave a like, consider su subscribing, you know, leave a comment if you have feedback or tips for me. I try to read and respond to every single comment I get. But thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.